Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with how to debone and butterfly your own leg of lamb. That's right, as promised in our recently published whole leg of lamb with pomegranate, garlic, and herbs. I said it was fast, I said it was fun, I said it was easy, and now I'm here to prove it. All right, so let's get started, and for that we need one almost whole leg of lamb. And it's not a full leg of lamb because it does not have the shank attached. That's generally how these are sold. And the first step here is simply to remove that one single bone, which is super easy because of the anatomy here. So what we have right here is the knee joint, all right? And that bone's pretty much gonna run straight from the knee joint to here, which is the hip joint. And one reason this is so easy, because if we know where the bone starts and the bone stops, and we know it's a straight bone, there's not gonna be a lot of mystery once we start cutting. And we're gonna start slicing in, and we're basically just trying to feel that bone below the surface. It's only like an inch or so down. And again, you can see where it starts and ends, so it should be pretty easy to find. So just cut straight in, and eventually you'll feel it with the tip of your knife. And then once we have identified that bone for sure, we're simply gonna to continue to trim around it, keeping our knife blade against the bone. All right, that way you're not gonna lose hardly any meat. So just keep cutting a little at a time. Oh, and by the way, I'm going to recommend a thin, sharp knife. But all kidding aside, this is so simple, you could actually do this with a fat, dull knife. Okay, so don't let your horrible cutlery prevent you from trying this technique. So keep cutting along the bone, and eventually you will have trimmed enough away where you can get your fingers under the bone. See that? And then once that happens, you can get your knife under there and start trimming underneath towards that hip joint. And it really does not matter which joint you remove first. But I'm gonna to go towards the hip joint here. And again, these slices are no different than when you started. Make sure you keep the edge of that blade against the bone as much as possible. And then when you get to the end here, just go ahead and cut through. And that hip end of the bone will be liberated. And of course, once we have that end free, you're just gonna to continue to trim down that bone to the kneecap end. And eventually you'll trim around and cut that out. And that leg of lamb will be deboned. And by the way, this technique is called deboning a leg of lamb not boning a leg of lamb. I'm pretty sure that means something different. So unless you're gonna add a bone to the lamb, you're not boning it, you're deboning it, okay? So good job removing the bone, but we're not done yet. There's gonna be a lot of tough connective tissue around that knee joint. So we're gonna take our knife and we're gonna cut around that. It's gonna be fairly obvious. It's not gonna look or feel like meat. It's actually gonna look and feel like cartilage and tendon. So cut that out. And at that point, we have what's known as a deboned leg of lamb, which a lot of people would roast just like this. They'd season it, tie it up, roast it off. But we're going to take it to the next stage, which is the butterflying. And if you think removing the bone was easy, get a load of this. All we're going to do is open that leg up, and you'll notice we have two sides. One side is significantly larger than the other. So let's go ahead and turn it this way. We'll cut into the smaller side first. And we're going to make about a 45-degree angle cut into the thickest part of that side, going in a few inches so that we can kind of unfold that piece that way. And of course, if you've never done this before, you'll make small cuts, you'll go a little at a time. And once that side's done, we'll turn it around and we'll do the same thing to the thick side. We'll go in at about a 45 degree angle, right into the thickest part. And the only difference is because this muscle's bigger, you're just gonna make a little longer and a little deeper slash. All right, the whole idea of butterflying is to get something that's about the same thickness across. And you can actually leave it flat like that, season it up and just do it on the grill. It's beautiful like that. And like I said, your friendly neighborhood butcher is more than happy to prep that Easter leg of lamb for you. But as I just showed you, it's so simple. Why not do it yourself and save a few bucks? And who knows, you could actually save enough to do solid chocolate bunnies instead of hollow chocolate bunnies in the Easter baskets. All right, so that's just one suggestion of what to do with all that extra money we're gonna save you. All right, so I've been meaning to show you that technique for a long time, so I'm glad I finally did. So head over to foodwishes.com, not for any ingredients, but for more information as usual. And as always, enjoy.